We arrived in Switzerland, and now we're in France. Oh yeah. But our Airbnb is in France, so it's like right on the border of Geneva. So we had to walk past the border, which is kind of cool. Never walked past the border before. We're about to go to bed. It's like 12.30 at night now, so we're gonna arrive there, go to bed, and have a big day tomorrow. Woke up to a good surprise this morning. You know, it was nighttime, so we weren't able to see actually where we were, but look at this view from the Airbnb. This shit is insane. Just mountains in the distance, everywhere. All right, we're getting food in France by Airbnb because Switzerland is notorious for expensive stuff. So we wanted to get food here. It's cheap, so that's the first first stop, and then we're heading over to Geneva, Old Town. Got a gas-looking kebab and frites. Just burgers, frites. burgers for the boys. ice cream and we have this insane view of the city on the pier it's gonna be great all right we don't have too much of a plan for geneva but um we are just like exploring right now a bit of an exploration day so a lot of just relaxing and then tomorrow we're going to interlaken for a couple days so that'll be very fun got mango ice cream chocolate and caramel this is actually the best mango ice cream i've ever had oh, yeah. Time to try our chocolates. Oh. Let's see this assortment that you acquired. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Gold plated Gold inside. Damn. Mm. Ten unique chocolates from Switzerland. A little chocolate, Boom. little black dark chocolate. I just take Boom. the whole thing. And yeah. Eat it once. Oh no, you gotta do a little flavor yeah, test. True. We'll go with the chocolate side. Oh, that's a good crunch. Look at that. Whoa. Very interesting. Whatever this filling is, almost has like a, like a rum flavor. Huh. Like it tastes alcoholic a little bit. You know, like that, like. Yeah, like the right? beer battered type of. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. This is the one I got. Just traditional milk chocolate. Little one. Let's, let's test it out. Some good milk chocolate. Pretty solid. All right, we're on our way back to the Airbnb in France. But first we're stopping at this Asian market because since food is super expensive in Switzerland, we're gonna make our own food at the Airbnb. About across back into the French border. We're going to this market first. So that is the plan for right now. About to enter France right now in Switzerland. Oh, I'm in France, baby. I'm in France. And some gyoza and then probably some ramen too. A couple of ramens, but trying to figure out exactly what we want. Chefing it up, chefing it up. Gyoza time.
block and and what we were told is that everything is extremely expensive here and we can tell by the grocery store prices so we're getting our food at the grocery store that's first first on the agenda got a giant thing of pringles and a salami sandwich all for 11 bucks expensive as fuck but look at this background the backdrop it's gonna be crazy in interlocking. Right now we're about to try and check into our, our hostel pretty early, but um, that's the goal. But holy shit, just the nature around this is insane. Our hostel is like a castle, a blue castle. Yeah, we got a pretty cool view. We just got some souvenirs. Now we're going to this abandoned church, or like historical church, so that is uh, what we're doing now. That's gonna be us tomorrow. We're doing that tomorrow at noon. Here is the church. There's actually two of them, but we're going, it's Palm Sunday, so we're going to church here later tonight. So we're just gonna go inside later. Getting fondue, the big forks. A little pricey, but it's the thing you gotta do here. It's the fondue. We got potatoes and veggies as well. Hell yeah. <laughs> so gas got some ice cream there's a chocolate wall video game Clear water. <laughs> it's like a portable wheelchair, but she's yeah, like chilling. She just put a dome on top of her, like on top of her cart. Literally. <laughs> Man dinner. Eating the, <laughs> eating the grocery store food. Five bucks. This, this, and this. Very cheap compared to everything else. This is day, day two in Interlaken, and we are on our way to go paragliding. So this is a big, big part of the adventure. This is gonna be so much fun. So paragliding is up next. That's about to be us. People live up here, just in the Alps. <laughs> Doggo! <laughs> Didn't think I'd pet a dog up here. <laughs> Hiking in the Alps. About to take off. <laughs> just slapped. It just went three seconds. Oh, there he goes. That was so easy, yeah. just like I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is Ian about to go right away? He is about to fly. Here goes Ian. Go luck, Ian! <laughs> oh, Ian's going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 
<laughs> What's up? Wow, we are paragliding in Interlaken. Indeed. We could run off the mountain. <laughs> How does it feel? Insane. We're just flying right now. <laughs> We're just flying. We're not connected to the ground. <laughs> no. This is the view. This is the Incredible. It's time to speed it up a little. Oh yeah, we're going crazy. We're going crazy for some cheap Woo! wheels. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let's just go to the right side for some wheels. Oh my goodness. There we go. Ah! Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, great. Oh wow. Woo -hoo -hoo! Just landed. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> There's Ian. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Perfect. Woo. <laughs> that was the best experience of our lives. That was literally the most insane thing ever. It, like 100% you gotta go paragliding it was incredible like the best feeling ever Yer. now we're about to go rent bikes and go to Lauterbrunnen so that's next on the agenda for today but this is gonna be a packed day and it's already in 10 out of 10 12 out of 10 50 out of 10 getting our bikes right now I'll fit it up we ready we ready for the ride it's an hour long ride um, so we should get there by like 3.30, 3.45-ish, and then we're gonna just chill there for a couple hours, and then a ride back for an hour before it gets dark, so it'll be a very fun adventure. This day has already turned out to be fantastical. We bike it. We're taking the Skyrim Bridge to Lauterbrunnen. We're in Brunnen, Lauterbrunnen, but here's the view. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Jeepers. Jeepers creepers. Jankies. We're in the medieval world right now. We're in Lord of the Rings, the fellowship continues. Lot of running long frivolous journey it was a bit hard a bit steep but not too bad now we're just walking to the city center right now there's a big water oh there's the waterfall i would do for a hot dog right chocolate with whipped cream. Ian got a rum and hot chocolate with whipped cream. Probably got a hot chocolate with no whipped cream. But this is such a cool bar in the middle of the Alps. And a lot of running. That is right now. The boys are in Switzerland forever. A piece of C4 forever. The biggest, the tallest waterfall. Uh, this is Minecraft. This, this is, is actually Minecraft. This is Minecraft in real life. <laughs> Dude, it's a waterfall on top of the mountains. We're literally just in a Minecraft realm. We're in the Pomo Momo -mo -mi Minecraft realm. Inside joke. Ladder Brunnen is just our Minecraft realm with Max and Connor. Real. Here it is. Made it to like one of the largest waterfalls ever. At least tallest, I should say. This is insane. Lauter Brunnen has some of the most beautiful nature that I've seen so far, but interlocking, it's hard to beat that. Four 
on Minecraft in real life. Do it. <laughs> about to leave a lot of running beautiful beautiful little mountain town literally surrounded by like the most insane mountains ever and waterfalls um i'm about to bike back it's about like an it'll take like around an hour to an hour 20 minutes because it's a lot of hills so it's very steep at points so probably around like an hour 20 get back by sunset and then probably call it there get some more gas station food because of the pricey costs um or grocery store food and then maybe watch a movie and go to sleep and then tomorrow, we're also in Interlaken, but later in the day, we're heading to Zurich. So we're in Zurich for three more days after that, and then in Munich for the next few days. So big trip, big plans ahead. Alright, we took a little detour to see the lake. Dude, this is the most blue lake of all time. Like, I don't know how it exists. I asked my um, paragliding instructor, like, why the lake's so blue, and he just says, obviously, how fresh it is, and, like, the perfect mix of m the minerals in the water just give it this, like, hint of blue. And it's just, like, so fresh because of it. So, yeah, perfect place to, like, stop and rest for a little bit. But, wow. All right, dinner too from co-op. So we spent a little bit more today, but still much less than any other food in a restaurant. This giant thing of peach tea, 60 cents. Pringles was like three bucks, but needed a chip. Got uh, grapes for like 2.80, M&Ms for like three. And then this and this were both 2.50, so like five bucks. So very cheap compared to everything else. The cool thing about the hostel too is that it's also like a restaurant on the first floor. So like the first floor restaurant is a fondue restaurant. So we're just, we have like the hostel has two tables and then the restaurant has everything else. So it feels very lively down here because there's a bunch of people just eating from the restaurant. So it's like very nice to just eat our gas station food or grocery store food dinner while everyone's eating like fancy. Like over here, everyone just eating normal food and then we got our- <laughs> hot pot. Yeah. Mac and cheese. Literally. <laughs> Here is the hostel. You know, the room. Six person. We had a bunch of roommates that last night, but tonight we are just us in the six person room, so. Very freaking yeah. nice. We are heading to Murin. It's next to Lauterbrunnen, but it's a it's a cliff city, so city on the side of a mountain. So that's where we're headed right now. We made it to Mirren. 
and that is the highest peak in all of Europe. So this is these are like up there. But what the fuck is this view? You can just see the ice on top. You see how blue it is up there? Yeah. That's crazy. imagine living up here. This is absurd. Jeez. And this this whole little city, it took like three ways, three steps to get up here. Had to take like a gondola, had to take like two different trains. But it's on the side of a cliff. I'll get a better view later, but like it's insane. Like apparently like a little less than 500 inhabitants here um but like every building is all wooden and just beautiful with the biggest mountains in the world right next to it there's like cool shit like this like a little woodshed made out of wood with wood okay i guess we're in heaven now um it's like a ski uh little ski trail over here but um yeah we just stumbled upon the greatest sight ever the greatest sight in human history Murin Switzerland is peak we got our lunch from co-op once again great view all eating but we're doing a little shark food reward type thing we got some cheese some sausage and a bunch of little crackers with some sandwiches on the side in case we're still hungry but Nice little, little date lunch with the boys. Interlocking mixed with Japan. They got like a Japanese little garden here with koi fish. So pretty. About to give me like future vibes from when I'm going to Japan in the summer. Oh my gosh. So, so cool. Got some Swiss francs right here. W currency. That's actually so much cooler than the euro. Yeah, you got the. Yeah, the five wow. franc. Boom, that's actually a lot of money. Yeah, that's, that goes far. It's almost like six USD, probably like 550, but yeah. We made it to Zurich. We're just getting some goodies at the gas station, but we made it to Zurich. Big day tomorrow. I don't even know what we're doing yet, but we arrived at our Airbnb, so. So it's gonna be a good day or a good good adventure. Capri Capri Sun, what do you think? I think that's the move. For for seventy more cents, I could get a big Lipton lemon tea though. How much is that? Two fifty. This is two twenty, and that's two ninety. Mm. I would go for the. I think so. Yeah. There's the Airbnb. There's Bobby in his bed. There's me and Ian's bed. We're cuddling tonight. Um, and then we got a big TV and a mini fridge, and there's a whole living room and kitchen area outside of here, which is really nice. So we also picked this ball up in Geneva. Yeah, so we picked this ball up in Geneva. We found it on the ground and we've just been holding it ever since. So maybe we can play some football pretty soon. We are at the FIFA Museum in Zurich. Is Bobby crazy? 